Good morning, Pleasant Hill. Mr. Ramson coming at you again from my house. Hope you're all doing really well. It is Wednesday, May 20th, and it is time once again to get together and do some resource activities. So today is going to be a quick one for the most part. We are just going to do some sight words, and then we're going to jump right into our making words. So today, the only real tool you need is going to be your making words magnet kit that's in your resource kit. Again, if for any reason you don't have that or there's something wrong with it, please let me know. A few might have fallen off their magnets. They, they're pretty sticky though, so you should be able to stick them right back on. Um, otherwise, try just putting a little bit of scotch tape on them right over top of the magnet. The magnet's still strong enough to get through there or just use a little glue. Okay, before we do that, I just want to show you guys a real quick clip about how to help you um, get through these videos a little faster because sometimes we have to go through and watch some parts of the videos that don't necessarily apply to us. So let me show you exactly what you can do to speed the process up when you're going on our, um, my YouTube page. Okay, so let's just take a look at Mr. Ramson's YouTube page. So anytime you click the link on Seesaw, it should take you right to here for our video lessons. Um, this is yesterday's video. We're not gonna watch it by any means, but what I want you to do is to go ahead and scroll down a little bit here to the description. When you guys look at this part right here, there I put little time steps inside each video to help you kind of get through our videos a little bit faster. If you're not working on hard words, there's not a whole lot of points to, to sit around and wait, especially since they're words you might know already. So you can actually skip ahead to parts of the video that apply most to you. Are you working on rain, orange rainbow words? Click here. Are you working on your red rainbow words still? Click here. Hard words? Click here. What it'll do is it'll take you to that point in the, in the movie or in the, in the video that applies to you. If you've maybe practiced those sight words already, or this morning or just really recently and you just kind of want to get to the new content in the video you can also go right to the next activity so here i put timestamps for all the sight words and then you can also skip right to today's read along story which was the activity we did yesterday so if you click that button right there see how the little hand shows up it'll then take you exactly to the video Part of the video where we start reading the story now it takes it it's taking a little while here just because it's trying to uh, play a video while i'm recording it but that's just a little cheat you guys can do and the same thing for today so there'll be a similar timestamp today that says go skip right to making words and you'll be able to do that so i'm going to put that inside all my videos there are little chapters that let you skip ahead to the part that you need to get to all right, I hope that helps. So make sure you're always checking the description box in the YouTube page. It'll help you get through that a lot quicker. Okay, so now let's just go right ahead, hop into our sight words. And from there, we're going to jump right into making words. Well, let's go. Was. W-A-S. She was happy to be here. Was. For. F-O-R. This is for you, for you, Y O U, you and I, you is I S. This is a great day, is. Here are last week's words that you can keep practicing today. The Ah, to, and red rainbow words. In, I, N, I am in trouble. In, if, I, F, if I were king for the day, if. On, O N, turn on the light. On, off, O F F, turn off the light. Off. Here are last week's red rainbow words. Keep practicing in case you haven't mastered them yet. At, am, an. It. Orange rainbow words. Did. D I D. 
It did not bother me. Did. Will. W-I-L-L. Will you come with me? Will. Big. B-I-G. The giant was really big. Big. Six. Three, four, five, six. S-I-X. Six. Here are last week's orange rainbow words. Had. Can. Ran. Him. Please continue to practice these words if you haven't mastered them yet. All right, resource kids, get out your magnet boards. It's time to do some making words. Let's do this. Spelling. So um, today, the letters we need to do today's activity is the letter I, the letter U. Ooh, we have two vowels today. The letter G. G, G, G. Letter J. J, J, J. The letter M. M, 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 the letter N, 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 and finally the letter P. All right, so what you're going to want to do is make sure you have your magnet boards out right now. And you collect all these letters off your board, flip them over, and place them on the back of your magnet or your uh, magnet board on your little tray there. Okay, so Please pause the video right now to give yourself some time to do that and press play and we'll pick up right where we left off. Okay, now hopefully <clears throat> that's enough time for everybody. Everyone got settled out. First word I'd like you to spell is the word up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, uh, p, p. What letters do you need to make? Uh, uh. We know uh uh is a vowel sound that comes from the letter U, like uh uh umbrella. And then P goes pa pa pig. So here we have up up. Did you get it? All right. Good job. So now we're going to go ahead and actually put these letters back P and U. Okay. This time I'd like you to spell. A very simple two, another very simple two letter word, in. And this is what some of one of our sight words that we for sure should know. In. I, I, n. So we know I says I, I, N says N, N. Nice job. In. Now, if any time during this video you need a little bit more time to make your word, please take some time, press pause. There's no hurry. Now that we have the word in, like go in the house, I'd like you to add one more sound at the beginning of the word to make it say pin. She wore a pretty pet pin on her sweater. Pin. We need a letter P, -p, -p. All right, so far we've done three words. I wonder what you would do to take the word pin and make it say pig. So we have P in. So now we want to say p -e -g. So we know we need to change out that last consonant sound. G, g, g. What about J? Pidge. Oh, J says j, j, like my name, Jeremy. We need g, g, g. So we're going to go to the letter G. Pig. Nice job. <clears throat> so far, we've done up, in, pin and pig. Now I'm so happy I'd like to do a jig. Can you take pig and turn it into jig? What letter do you need to change? P ig j ig. We know we need to get rid of that letter P and add the letter J. Awesome. So we danced a jig. All right. Now Maybe you're having some cereal in the morning and it's all dry. You need something nice, tasty to put on it. We need some milk from the jug. Jug. So right now we have jig 
We want to change it into jug. What would you do to change it to jug? We want to change that middle sound, which is our vowel sound, right? So right now we have jig. We want to say jug. So let's put that vowel up here. Get it out of our way. What other vowel do we have? Well, we know that our vowels are red or pink, and our only other choice is U. Let's double check to make sure it works. J -a -g. Jug. Perfect. So sometimes milk comes in a jug. Now this morning, Mr. Ramson was very tired and I needed to pour a big tall glass or a big tall mug of coffee. Can you help me turn jug into mug? Okay, right now we have j, j. We need ma, ma. So let's get rid of that J sound. Ug, m, ug. We need a m sound. We know P says pug, m. Oh, there's the letter M. Mug. A little sticky letter there. Okay. So now we have the word mug. Now these three letters can actually be rearranged into a new word. What is another word you can make that you chew on and blow bubbles? I'm gonna give you a few seconds to make a new word. So from mug or mug to your new word. And your hint is you can chew it and blow bubbles with it. Go. Did you say g a m gum? Nice job if you did. Awesome job. Mr. Ramson's likes Mr. Ramson likes to chew bubble gum. Okay. So now we're going to spell a four letter word. And we're going to spell the word jump. Okay? So for instance, we could say Deidre likes to jump. Jump. All right, so Deidre, if you're following along at home, what letter do I need to make a j sound? Right now I have g. I need a letter j, 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 j. Let's see what we have so far. J, um, jum. So there's three of our four letters. J, uh, mm, p. Deidre and Amber, what is that last letter we need? Did you guys say P? Let's try it out. Pop it in there. J -a -m -p. Jump. Nice job, ladies. Awesome job. All right. Now, I'm going to do one more challenge here to mm, how about somebody who might be working in Paris? Um, maybe Callie and, um, and Katie. Maybe they can help us finish this one up. Could you girls take the word jump? and make jumping and everyone else who's following along please try to do it as well jump ing now what three letters make that ing sound it is a digraph so a group of letters that make new sound when they're put together what could that be well, let's go back and visit it i n G. So that is our ing. So if I want to sing or ring or bring. Okay, so now all I'm going to take is this ing, move it over here with jump. I have used all my letters, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have my root word, which is jump. And then I have my suffix, which is the sound I've added to the end of my root word. To change it, so we went from jump and we added ing. Jump ing. Nice job. The girls like jumping on the trampoline. Good job, everyone. So we just took a whole bunch of letters and made the word up, in, pin, pig, jig, jug, mug, gum, jump, and jumping. That is 10 brand new words. Fantastic job, everyone, today. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Feel free to take some more letters. Keep building words. 
maybe you can rearrange these um, letters in another way to make a new word or some words that we've already made together. So go ahead, the magnets are there for you to play with, or not just play with, but to learn from. So move them around, interact with them, and we will do another one of these making words real soon. I don't think we have one on the timetable for this week, because it is a short week, but we will get to it tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. All right, Junior Resource, that wraps everything up for today. I hope you guys had a great lesson, and I hope everything went well for you. If you're having any problems, please continue to contact me anytime you need to. I am here for you to help out. Um, otherwise, I will see you tomorrow for Thursday's video, and then we will wrap things up for Friday. It was just a short week, so it's going to go by real quick. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well and everyone's staying safe. Hopefully tomorrow I'm going to try to get a haircut so maybe you won't see me with a, with a snapback or a, a baseball cap on in the next few days. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, if you guys are going out in the community, continue to be safe, stay well, and take care of each other. Bye now.